This has been one of the most incredible runs by a trio that we've seen in the NBA. The first day of the play-in gave us possibly the end of an era in Golden State, while LeBron and the Lakers survive in a thriller ending and advance to the playoffs, so we gotta start there. However, the start itself was ugly for LA. And Ingram quirks through front in and taken by Williamson. What a pass and what a finish. With 10 quick points in the first, Williamson announced that this wasn't going to be like the previous matchups, where James just sagged off of him and it was game over. And as soon as LeBron went to the bench for a breather, the Pelicans went on a 14-5 run, ending the quarter with an 8-point lead. In his first postseason type of NBA play, kicks it in the corner, Jones with a three. Herb Jones fits the bill. And the second period started off with a bang. Rattles on LeBron, the spin, the fake, oh. the way, rejected by Williamson. But it was the defense of the Lakers actually that completely turned this game around in the blink of an eye in transition so it's nance on top look at this oh, another just, still just picked up pickpocketed by prince lebron jackson hayes got the feed and slams it home three-point game the suffocating defense by the lakers forced new orleans into taking a bunch of horrible shots and at times the pelicans looked like they had no idea what to do Zion had 10 points in the second as well, but his teammates were clueless, scoring only 6 points combined. And meanwhile, the Lakers shooters were feasting. Switch on D, screen by Hayes, outside it goes, Vincent 3, card! <laughs> Prince down that baseline. Shot clock at 7, Prince will fire a 3. Oh my goodness, Prince off the bench here. LA went on a furious run in the second quarter, winning the period 34-16, and on the break, this was a 10-point lead for them. And what should have been a rally back into the game in the third quarter turned into a nightmare, as one of their leaders, Brandon Ingram, was a complete no-show. From forcing up unnecessary tough shots to turnovers and most of all not creating for his teammates, the Pelicans couldn't rely on him as the deficit was increasing. Five minutes gone here in the third. Oh, Good what a pass. Pass. What a pass inside to Reeves. Man, this got me fired up in the middle of the night and I knew it was going to be hard for me to sleep after this game. Speaking of that, you probably know by now that I live in Europe so the games end at like 6 in the morning for me and getting a proper sleep basically during the day is extremely tough, which is why I'm happy to say that Manta Sleep came in super clutch for me, and I thank them for sponsoring this video. Despite closing down the blinds, you see that there's still a lot of light coming in, but my Manta Pro mask makes it pitch black and allows me to have a good night's sleep, or a good day's sleep in my case I guess. It's stretchy and breathable so I'm super comfortable wearing it. These pads are adjustable so you can get a perfect fit. I make sure to keep it on the nightstand so whenever the game ends, I put it on and go full on Steph Curry. Check out Manta in the link in the description and use code HEATCHECK at checkout for 10% off your order. Thanks Manta for sponsoring this video. What's funny is that as soon as Ingram sat on the bench along with CJ who was also having a horrific game and Valanchunas, another no-show, the Pelicans went on a run with Zion and the bench unit. Here's with 6 more threes, then the Pelicans, Alvarado, 3, rebound, Nance! Puts it up and in. If you're the Pels. It's a three. Good! Williamson scored 11 more points in the third, but at the beginning of the fourth quarter, while he was on the bench, Willie Green trusted McCollum and Ingram to get even closer. But the complete opposite started to happen, as they continued to fire out bad shots and the Lakers knew how to punish that. It's picked up right now, Alvarado the other way. This is who they need to get going. And James the rebound. In stride, Vincent! And the N1 too by Gabe Vincent. Big time basket, another assist. What a pass by LeBron. So Green goes back to the unit that got him close the first time, and then... It's picked up by the Pels. Murphy teeing up a three! Oh, oh, oh. Shot clock at two. LeBron dives, no! Defense by Williamson! Jones, Williamson, Alvarado, three! And the arena absolutely explodes when... Here come the Pelicans! 
We have the chance to tie inside. Zion Williamson! We are tied! Alvarado the assist! Alvarado is playing out of his mind. Wow, New Orleans comes all the way back and now it's on. Thing is, LeBron knows exactly what to do in situations like this when his team needs him the most. So these two teams trade blows in the final minutes, and in the heat of the battle, Zion lands awkwardly and injures himself, immediately signaling that he has to leave the game. A huge blow for the Pelicans. So with the Lakers clinging to a one-point lead, this possession is crucial, so... Drives and feeds, corner three, Russell, bullseye! What a shot! Big time three by Russell! Wow, the great penetration by Reese to suck the defense in, but what a huge shot by D'Angelo Russell. Ice cold to give his team a four-point lead. So after McCollum finally gets a shot to fall, this is again a one possession game, so all they have to do now is get this stop. James with five, with four, James double fade away, missed it all, Davis got it, ball knocked away, foul! Unbelievable, what a monster rebound by Anthony Davis playing with an injured back, but still coming up big time not only with the rebound, but also with two huge free throws to keep it a two possession game. And New Orleans does the same thing again with the quick score and the foul, hoping for a miss at the end. But this time, Austin Reeves comes up huge, not even flinching at the line and hitting two shots that eventually sealed the deal for the Lakers, propelling them to the playoffs and another battle against the defending champions, the Denver Nuggets. Meanwhile, the Pelicans still have another chance of getting in as they wait for the winner of Golden State and Sacramento. And boy, Keegan Murray must have been waiting for this game because... 29% for three. Keegan Murray answers and listen to this crowd. Gotta step up. They need Fox and Sabonis to have huge nights. Keegan Murray again. As Keegan Murray, it's another one. Murray came out blazing hot, hitting four threes for 14 points in the first quarter, helping the Kings jump out to a nine point lead despite playing without key players in Malik Monk and Kevin Herter. With Steph and Clay being ghosts in the first half and Sacramento continuing to attack, the lead ballooned to 16 when Davion Mitchell knocked it down from outside. But then, unlikely heroes stepped up for Golden State, trying to save the season. In the playoffs is Kaminga. It's back-to-back -back jumpers to make. No one is going to be given that as Kaminga again drives three consecutive possessions. Kaminga kept this team afloat and single-handedly went on a run to get the Warriors back in the game with his 10 points in the period, supported by Moody with 7. So at halftime, Golden State was only down by 4 points, despite Curry and Thompson combining for only 5 in the first half. However, nobody could have prepared them for what was about to hit them in the third quarter because it's the way it's going to be in the playoffs. And how about Keegan Murray? Leads all scorers. Here's Harrison Barnes left open. Late recovery by Wiggins and Barnes makes him pay. The Kings stormed out to another run, making it a 17 point game. And while Steph Curry woke up for the Warriors and dropped 11 points in the period, Clay was 0 for 7 total at this point, and Wiggins was 4 for 11 total. The offense was non existent for them. And this leads us to the sequence that was the exclamation point on this game. In the corner is Keegan Murray! Big shot for Murray! Split the season series as well. Here is Harrison Barnes. Barnes knocks it down! The fans are rocking in Sacramento as they know that this is pretty much game over. And Dubs know it as well, which brings a dark cloud over their dynasty. Is this the end of this iconic trio? Was this the last game for Clay in a Warriors uniform? A lot of questions surround this team as they are eliminated and watch the Kings advance to the final play-in game against New Orleans for a shot at the playoffs. What a first day of the postseason. I guess this was bound to happen after the crazy turn of events that we witnessed on the final day of the regular season. You gotta check out what happened right here. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out.